Hello, my name is Suzanne Johnson. This talk focuses on visual uh, evidence of how gratitude helps our moods and how to have reminders to practice gratitude more often. First, I'd like to start out uh, showing you uh, Dr. Daniel Amen's book, Images of Human Behavior. And uh, he's a psychiatrist and a neuroscientist who has this very sophisticated kind of machinery that can take pictures of, that shows the blood flow in the brain and how the outer uh, surface is. And just to show you, he shows like, this would be a, a normal brain, smooth on the outside. And I don't know how well I could see it, but see, most of the brain is blue, which is calm, except a little red in the back part of the brain here, the more primitive part of the brain where there's fight or flight. Uh, but, um, Depending if you have, for instance, depression, there's a lot more red. Uh, if there's, he's, he's got pictures in the front here. Heroin brain, obsessive brain, marijuana brain, anxious brain, sorry. You can see they're different. And for my purpose of talk, I found a image that he posted on a woman practicing gratitude and then comparing how her, her brain looked practicing gratitude compared to practicing hate. So let me find that here. So here's what he wrote. There's two brain spec scans of the same person. One was performed while she was focused on gratitude and the other when she focused on what she hated about her life. Negative thinking decreases blood flow to the brain and makes it harder to think. Focus on what you love more than what you don't. So there's that proof. And uh, the next thing that I want to show you uh, is related to Dr. Modo. Maybe you've heard of him. He's a, I guess, a scientist in Japan. And he got this idea that maybe if he could freeze water at just the right temperature, uh, he could take pictures of it with a high powered microscope. And so he, he took like hundreds, thousands of pictures before he figured out the exact temperature, the exact kind of lens, the exact uh, speed. But he was able to show that depending on different water samples really shows differently in the molecules. And I've just show you, so my book's falling apart. I didn't take it apart for this video, but um, this shows uh, water at the location right after earthquake. And this is three months later. And a lot of people had helped the people in that area. Um, let's see. This shows a picture of uh, on the girl's face. Um, see, I had others. This shows when he wrote the word dirty on a, on a jar of water and where he wrote the word you fool in different languages. But for the purpose of our talk today, I've got a picture of the word thank you. This one is in Hangul language and this is uh, water with the word written on it in English. So I, I He's got a lot more pictures in his book playing uh, classical music, but I thought that that really showed how thank you could be uh, even affect the water. We're mostly water. Most of the earth is water. Uh, the next thing that I'd like to show you is a picture. I first, I tell you it was an experiment done at my spiritual center where we took two pepper plants. They were both healthy. like They look like this to start with. And then every day, uh, we, uh, for five minutes, would be very nice to one plant and say, thank you, you're doing great, I love you. And the other plant, we would just say, oh, you're doing terrible, I hate your guts. Very negative language. And after 15 days, you can see that the one that we spoke negative words to really suffered. And I'm sorry I didn't take the picture. After 30 days, this plant was totally, there was no flowers left. We, we tried to be nice to it afterwards and revive it, but it 
it didn't work. So I thought that's pretty remarkable. Um, so from here, I want to uh, talk more about how we can remind ourselves to be grateful. And one simple way is to uh, do just write water on, a, on the water, if you have, drink water, you know, just like that experiment. And that perhaps could change the, the frequency of the water. Um, also, I found, it occurred to me that maybe there's an app for remembering to be grateful. And I looked on Google Play and I found five apps. Some were a little more complicated, but I found one that was really simple that's called Presently. And every day it has a little reminder, a little star, and it says, what are you grateful for today? I haven't done mine yet today. So I press it here. And on the bottom, it has a, each day has a different quote. Today's quote is, for January 20th, the soul that gives thanks can find comfort in everything by Hannah Whittle Smith. So I just tap on here. Okay, what I'm grateful for, I'm grateful to be making this video, comma. I'm grateful that I slept well last night, comma. And I'm grateful that I had plenty to eat today. Then I hit save and it saves it. Uh, so that's efficient. Oh, 10 days of gratitude so far. Okay, the next one, uh, I thought, well, maybe there's a, a gratitude group on Facebook. And there's, I think five of them at least, but the largest one I joined has 171,000 members. And they said that their the focus of the group the focus is an edited, ongoing, curated group dedicated to the practice of being continually grateful with and for all beings. And they quote Meister, if the only prayer you said in your whole lives was, thank you, that would suffice, end of quote. Now, if you don't like digital or being on the internet, there's a book like this called The One Minute Gratitude Journal. And every day, you've got little places to write what you're grateful for. Or you can just get some from the dollar store, you know, and write in there. Um, let's see what else I've got here. Uh, other, there's now there's quite a few YouTube journals about gratitude. I mean, uh, videos. And my favorite latest is Andrew Huberman. He's a neurobiologist. And he has five videos that I saw on gratitude. There's one, he, he can be very detailed. That's an hour and a half called the Science of Gratitude and How to Build a Gratitude Practice. It's Lab Practice Podcast number 47. And he said that there's a wealth of data now showing that having an effective gratitude practice can impact a large number of health variables, both mental health and physical health in positive ways. Things like cardiovascular health, relationships, cognitive performance. And he said they're reporting very large positive effects. He also said it's anti-inflammatory and can be a buffer against effects of past trauma and future trauma. Another video he has is a six minute video called the number one habit of millionaires, million, billionaires that you can copy. And um, that would be gratitude. So he says the one habit of high performers in all fields and scientists show how 10 to 60 seconds of gratitude can transform your life. So with that, I end this talk and uh, please like if you like it and make it comments below. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now.